Alrighty guys, this is Snugs on Blitz, and I'm back with another video for you today. So the game in this tank, the Kunza Panzer, and it's a little bit different. Um, I'm not going to do awesome damage or anything, but I think it will illustrate one important thing, and that is the concept of distraction. Yes, sometimes using your speed and causing all sorts of trouble for the enemy team can help win the game. So um, I'll give you a quick review of the tank, and then we'll jump right into some gameplay. So, overall, good, gun, good, armor, nada, maneuverability, great. Now, just to let you know, this seems like it's an RU251 in tier 7, but it's actually better because it's not as fast and it's easier to control. So I highly recommend picking up this tank if you can, if you're interested in that fast, crazy play style. Definitely a tank I think you want to have in your garage. Anyway, let's jump right in. Okay, wow, um, look at that. Our team is heavy and slow, and they have two awesome meds, including the uh, Ascent 5 slash 1 and the Pajetto 46. So I can't stop them, uh, that's for sure. Hmm. What am I going to do? I mean, those are two of the best tier 8 meds in the game. Uh, and I am a good tier 7 med, but... Well, I'm a light, actually, right? I think, anyway. Um, so I'm going to have a quick spot here and hope I don't get uh, obliterated for my trouble. Okay, there's one of them, as expected. Didn't expect to hit anything, but I uh, just thought I'd fire it off. And I'm uh, really wondering what to do here. So, <laughs> okay, our team at least hasn't uh, pushed in against the meds. That's something. Hmm, maybe the Progetto's alone. Maybe the scent is AFK. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's see if I can spot anybody here. Okay, well, that's probably the scent there. Oh, that's the Progetto. So the scent is probably at C. And um, I'm not sure this guy's going to enjoy his uh, game much. I don't think he's going to last more than a minute. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, so I'm going to get the heck out of here. Um, thankfully, I've got um, great speed and great mobility. So screw it. I'm going to go in and help my heavies. And I'm going to be a little bit crazy and wild uh, because I think that's the only way we're really going to win this game. I don't have faith. There goes our um, first tank, the Panther M10. That was no surprise. And here I go. I mean, look at this. I'm charging it. I, I hit that amazingly. Look at that. Now I'm zooming around, zooming around. Now, they don't have good reloads, so I'm just going to shoot and just keep on moving. Just keep on moving. Make myself a tough target. Get around this guy. Ba boom. Make myself tough. Yeah, got around him. His turret can't catch me, can he? Got hit by somebody else. That's okay. Two shots in, and off I go again. I'm running, running, running. Hope I don't get... I got hit again. Okay, but what I've done is got them all turned around. They are just looking this way and that way. And look at that. Look at that. Our team just ripped right through them. Now, do I take credit for that? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I was <laughs> just running. I mean... All I wanted to do is not get hit. And yet now, it's it's all over. Um, I mean, the Progetto and the Scent are good, but they won't be able to stop six tanks. Not with the amount of armor and hit points that we have. Yeah, uh, it's not going to happen. So from a game that I thought was going to be death and destruction, it turned out to be quite an easy game. So if you're looking for a good, fast, mobile tank, I would say this is definitely worth adding to your garage. I would probably put it, you know, top 10 uh, tanks in tier 7. And it's quite fun. Uh, just remember, it doesn't have much armor, so be careful of those smashers and SU-152s. Um, but yeah, uh, a good little tank that I think deserves a place in your garage. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Uh, I'll see you next time. Oh! Don't forget to sub if you like this video and you want to see more. I'll see you next time. Snugs on Blitz, out.